¡Viva la raza! That's crazy. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. Somebody tell me how. I want to know, and I want to know right now. How? How did Kingpin become president of basketball operations for the New York Knicks? <laughs> Flo said, drop a video, Dynamo. We need it now. Say less! Did y'all think because it's late and I made a video three hours ago that I wouldn't make another one? No! I'm about to go psycho with uploads this season. You may even get videos at 3 and 4 in the morning. I don't care. It's not like I have a choice because of crazy lunatics like the Knicks. They are psychopaths. They are daft in the skull. How do they keep doing this? And how do they keep swindling everyone? Even Cat don't know what the hell is going on. Crazy cause after all that, they still traded me to New York. Like, what the fuck? They acquired Cat by dishing Julius Randle and Dante DiVincenzo and a first round pick from Detroit. Why do you have that? Why? Why? Ah! I said the Celtics were playing this game with salary cap off and the Knicks go and do something like this in this economy. During these inflated times, you pull something like this off? I need that Celtics-Knicks matchup in the playoffs. I need it. We need it. The world needs it. Oh my God, it would be so beautiful. I need, I need the toxicity. I need the malice in my life. Please, basketball gods, make it happen. That series would be stupendous. Y'all didn't let that Villanova 4 even breathe before boarding it. I shouldn't say that. That's too much. Getting rid of Julius Randle to... Uh, ah, that, you know, this isn't even my team. And that hurts parting ways with the both of them. Dante DiVincenzo was a crowd favorite. And I think Julius Randle helped establish the identity of toughness the Knicks currently exhibit. So to lose them both... Especially what Dante DiVincenzo was doing with these last playoffs. He, he was this big shots, big time shot maker. The man is tough. This was a tough squad. He's Dante DiVincenzo was damn near a glue guy of the team, but he was also a great shooter. He was also a big bucket maker. Losing to both of them, it, yeah, that, that hurts. That, that does hurt. But you get Cat in return. And what Cat can potentially do and what he showcased in these past playoffs and just his all-around skill set. A floor spacing big man. But he's always had some question marks in the area of toughness. There were many games these past playoffs where I felt Carl Anthony Towns could have made his presence more known. He could have done some more down the stretch. But then you could say the same thing about Anthony Edwards, because it seemed as though game in and game out, a couple of the games anyway, starting with the Nuggets series, then going up against the Mavericks, the two of them would kind of fade into the background a bit, far more so than you would like, and you would be looking around for them. You want them to be more aggressive. Anthony Edwards, he has the excuse of, this is his first time, he's still a relatively young player, very young player. He's learning to go through the motions. He's getting his legs up underneath him. Carl Anthony Towns, however, I don't think there was much of an excuse. I believe he should have been more present. And then you had Rudy Gobert, which I, I don't know. But the, the fact that the Timberwolves parted ways with Carl Anthony Towns and kept Gobert? Why? Gobert is as offensively versatile as a scarecrow. And he has the acceleration of a giraffe. Are giraffes fast? I mean, okay. I guess. Whatever. Backs don't care about your feelings. Silence, Ben. Go read Cardi B lyrics. Hop on top. I want to ride. I do a Kegel while it's inside. I can see this kind of hurting the Timberwolves in some matchups against certain teams. But when it comes to the Knicks, I squarely believe, and I'm pretty sure everybody at this point knows they are building themselves up to beat the Celtics. They plan to go to the end of the rainbow and square up with the leprechaun. They want all the smoke for the lucky charms. They do not care. They look at the rest of the Eastern Conference and are unbothered. As I've said in the past, and I still stand by it, the Celtics repeating seemed inevitable. 
I just didn't see who could beat them in a seven game series, especially in the East. Only teams that come to mind in the West that can do such a thing as beating the Celtics or making it go seven games would be the Mavericks, the Nuggets. But in the East, hell no, I thoroughly believe nobody in the East was beating this team unless either one, injuries became a thing, which we don't want to see, or two, the Celtics mentally crumble on themselves or mentally implode. I just don't see that happening as much as it did in the past. But with what the Knicks just did right here, this now makes me reevaluate the East, especially the top two teams being now the Knicks and the Celtics. And I see that as that, that they can do it. The Knicks can do it. And I don't think it's unreasonable to think so, but that's just what I think. But tell me below, what do you think of this, this swindle, this all time robbery? What, this is robbery number three or four that Leon Rose has done so far? Tell me what you guys think below. Like and subscribe if you are new. Get ready for this season. It is going to be crazy. I'll see you on the next one.